Hey everybody, I was uh, looking on the internet and I realized that there really wasn't a good video for the installation of the Ford Racing front tow hook. And uh, I was a little bit disappointed because I, I kind of like doing some research. It's something that I wanted to do because my vehicle is low and uh, I don't like hooking things under the bumper because I don't want to rip the bumper up, <laughs> you know. Um, there's not really any good place to hook and uh, and pull it up onto a, a wrecker or a trailer. So uh, a tow hook was definitely in the works for me. So basically what I did is I put together a couple things. You're going to see some images in a second. Um, just kind of gave you give you an estimate of what it would cost. It normally costs you about $1,000 to have these parts welded in. I'm going to bolt them in, which is actually cost me about $200. Um you see a couple of images about the sight shield and you know basically detaching things uh, so you can do the installation. I also give you kind of a step by step, and I'm going to try to put these things in the uh, in the um, comment section so you can actually look at some PDFs and print them off and help you out. And basically, what you're going to do is you're going to start with the the front bumper. You see a clean, nice, fresh slate just for you to to cut into and possibly mess up. <laughs> But uh, you're going to take the front bumper off. You're probably going to have a sight shield. You're probably going to have fender liners. You're probably going to have an undercover uh, that goes on the bumper. Um, more than likely 8 millimeter bolts uh, on the bottom. A couple Phillips head screws in the uh, fender liners. Maybe some plastic clips. And uh, the sight shield will be plastic clips. I don't have any of those on my vehicle because they've all been deleted because this car was a toy. I bought it um, and it was real cheap. And I'm just going to play with it. Uh, basically what you have in this image is um, uh, the reinforcement bar. And you're going to cut that lip that you see on the front. You're actually going to cut that out. And we're going to show you right here that the um, the lip, you, you got to cut about 5 inches of that lip to get the plate to sit flush. Uh, you're also going to want to you know, mark it up. You know Whether you use a marker or I use paint. Uh, then you're going to cut it out. You're going to cut it out with a, a die grinder, a zizz wheel, um, or like I used, I used a, um, a Dremel tool with a cutting blade. Uh, it did eat some, <laughs> some cutting blades up. Uh, it's high strength steel, and I think I went through probably about four or five cutting blades um, for this particular cut. Uh, and it wasn't a very big cut, and so it might not be worth it. The, the blades aren't very expensive, but... Nah, no fun uh, going through that many blades anyway. And then you're just basically going to clean up where you cut just so it's nice and smooth. Um, and you get a nice fit on the, uh, the, the tow hook itself, the plate that's going to do all the, uh, the pulling. And as you can see, it's kind of a dry fit. It actually needs to be a little bit up, up a little bit further where that bend is. So I had to cut a little bit more out. Like I said, it's about five inches. Um, that's the bolt that I used. Uh, well, similar bolt that I used. I actually used a seven inch long bolt. Uh, I had a 28 millimeter head. Uh, it's high strength steel uh, bolt. It's made for pulling and frame framework. So um, you see that it's going to have plenty of tensile strength to pull the vehicle up onto a rollback. Uh, also used some quarter inch thick steel plating on the top and the bottom. Um, the plating was two by two, uh, two inches by two inches, and like I said, it's a quarter inch thick. You see the seven inch, um, seven inch long bolt that's all the way through the reinforcement. Now the good thing is you can do, you don't have to drill all the way through the reinforcement. All you have to do is drill through the top and drill through the bottom. So you don't have to have a huge long drill bit, but you do have to line it up. Um, and at least one of those particular um, holes needs to be lined up enough to where you have strength and integrity. Um, yeah, I primed them because the, the, <laughs> the part actually comes bare metal. Uh, it's actually coated in oil. So I actually cleaned all the oil off after I made my cut. I primed everything. Uh, and then I painted it. And I painted it shiny black, just spray can, you know, flat black, or a gloss black, actually. And uh, we're putting the bumper back on. When you put the bumper back on, make sure you put those little tabs that are up under the headlight they have a little slot that they go into if you miss that slot your bumper looks droopy under the headlights um, and it's got two little tabs on the top that actually help you pop it on there it makes it look really good um, makes it fit really good and uh, basically that's it I mean 
you're going to go through, you got to make sure you have a uni bit. You got to have a good drill. You got to have all the stuff that you need. You know, I used a hammer, a uni bit, a drill, um, the die grinder, and I went to the hardware store and made sure I got steel plating. Um, you know, after everything's installed, you make the little cut in the bumper. It's going to be right up under that lip and uh, it's going to look real clean. And when you're done, you're done. And I hope that this was helpful. I know it's pretty short, but I like to be short and to the point. But just kind of let you know what you're getting involved with when you're actually doing this installation. Like I said, I looked on the internet before I started just to kind of see, you know, the tow hook installation. And yeah, it's, there's not much to look at. So um, hopefully that helps. And I hope you guys have a good day and subscribe if you like it. Thank you.